CEO of the Walt Disney Company, Bob Iger, is not having any fun. It's not just the Disney stock that's down, it's Disney Plus ratings. And folks, it's gotten so bad now that a hitherto unknown streaming service called Tubi is getting ready to defeat Disney Plus and knock it out of the top five streaming platforms. We've got the news, folks. You won't hear anywhere else right now. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of every age, size, background, you are welcome here. You are so welcome here as we get ready to welcome you to yet another case of explaining entertainment and keeping the folks ahead of the culture curve. And today, we're bringing you stuff that you just won't hear anywhere else regarding Disney Plus and its place in the pantheon of streaming services and where it is likely to be in the next few weeks, I dare say. Not months, weeks as we prepare for Tubi, a service which was basically out of the blue, Tubi, to come by and eat Disney Plus's lunch and knock it out of its place. And when it does so, folks, get ready. Bar the doors, because investors, they are not going to be happy. No financial advice, but I'm just telling you, when Disney Plus is defeated by Tubi, Disney Plus with an astronomical cost and Tubi with almost nothing vested into it, it is not going to be a pretty day in Burbank. But let's bring on the panel. We've got Culture Casino, we've got Marvin, we've got Jonas, and this is the kind of conversation and discussion that you can't find anywhere else. This is the article out of Stream TV Insiders by Bevan Fletcher. Fox's 2B continues growth trend. 90% of fast viewing on demand. Now, folks, we told you in the past that 2B was hot on the heels of Disney+. Plus. Well, even more so now. We're going to show you a graph in just a moment. Uh, Fox's free ad-supported streaming TV service, Tubi, continued to see growth in the first three months of 2024, with the company on Thursday reporting user and usage gains alongside year-over-year -year ad revenue increases. During Fox's fiscal year 2024 third quarter conference call, CEO Lachlan Murdoch said the free streaming platform marked 22% revenue growth in the period. Geez wow. Louise, wouldn't Disney like to see that? Driven by a 36% increase in total viewing time, and 20% growth in monthly active users. The Fast now counts just under 80 million monthly active users, up from 78 million at the last count. Now, folks, remember, go back in the Wayback Machine when we were telling you that Disney was uh, seeing tremendous uh, competition from Tubi, and guess what? It has not gotten better for Disney in go. terms of keeping away Tubi. Are we ready to see it, folks? Yep, here it here. is. Oh, did you pull it up for me? Yes, well, that's right. That's where I thought you were going here. No, you're exactly right. This is exactly where we want to go. Folks, here's the big scoop that we've got. According to sources we have, we now anticipate that Tubi will indeed overtake Disney Plus in viewership, uh, if not this quarter, the next. This is the updated percentages. Um, you heard it here first uh, weeks ago, months ago, as we told you that Tubi, which cost $400 million for Fox, likely to overtake Disney Plus, which has cost something like $100 billion, we're not making that up, uh, and is $30 billion in the hole. Um, Disney Plus now at 1.8%, that's a drop of 1.1% uh, in terms of overall streaming market share. Tubi now at 1.7, and we, we anticipate Tubi will now become uh, one of the biggest streaming services out there, overtaking Disney Plus, and uh, as we can also see, Hulu is continuing to fall. And so that means that Disney Plus continues to struggle. They continue to cannibalize Hulu, and Tubi now likely to overtake Disney+. Plus. Not at all what Bob, Bob Iger was anticipating. This is a massive story in entertainment. Panel, your thoughts. Well, uh, just to remind everyone that they spent $70 billion to buy Fox to bolster streaming, and that Fox turned around, what was remaining of Fox, turned around, not owned by Disney, and spent $440 million to buy Tubi. And now they are 0.1% behind Disney without creating any original content that is worth bringing up. They do have original content, but it's like a B or C movies. Except for Chris Gore's Attack of the Dock, which is not original right. to them, well, well, but well, is well, way well, higher than a B or C. Okay, well, they didn't pay for Chris Gore's Attack of the Dock. Exactly. And Chris Lois Gore's and Clark Attack. is on there. And they're running ads on it. So I'm assuming that Chris Gore would get uh, some of that if you do watch it over there. Uh, on on Tubi. 
So let's review yeah. real quick, though. Let, let's take a look because they, they don't want to say, Disney never wants to say that YouTube is a streaming platform, despite the fact that we're streaming to you right now. Uh, but YouTube, 9.6%. Netflix, 7.6%. That puts Netflix in second place, by the way. And then after that, everybody else is way, way, way down. Now, Amazon Prime Video, we've talked about this, this in the past. Amazon Prime Video has significant peaks and valleys. So 3.2 for them, but they jump and they decrease massively. Then Hulu, that puts Hulu at the fourth place. Now, that 5.8 at the top is all the other stuff like Twitch, um, like uh, Roku, well, not Roku, but Twitch and other, these other platforms all combined together, all the little bitties are the 5.8 at the top. But YouTube at number one, Netflix at number two, way down the list, we've got uh, Amazon Prime Video at, at three, Hulu at four, Disney Plus has been the fifth largest streaming service, but Tubi is likely to bump Disney Plus out of the top five. Marvin, what do you think about Disney Plus no longer being a top five streaming platform? I mean, look, my, my buddy and I laugh all the time about how the Murdochs just basically took Bob Iger for a ride and then just turned around and, and, and you know, just did all of this to now be right hot on his heels. The second they overtake Disney Plus, I mean, that is going to be catastrophic for them. I mean, look, it's a free service. It's got good content on there. It's got a lot of classic content that people still want to consume. And I think Disney Plus has just kind of got the stink on it. It's got the stink from all these Marvel shows. It's got the stink from all these Star Wars shows. And I know so many people who were just cutting that cord. They don't want to be a part of it anymore. I'll also point out, as I often like to do, that one third of all television streaming on Disney Plus right now is is just Bluey. So yeah. if if Disney Plus actually only counted the content that they made and own, it would be even less uh, than all of. Well, you know what's even insane? What that means, Jonas, is that Bluey is something between zero. What would you say? Point zero five and point zero six percent of all streaming anywhere. Is, yeah, yeah, is Bluey. <laughs> Yeah, Bluey is a phenomenon with kids and with weird childless adults. I find. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I have, Bluey is a parenting I show. I think Bluey is a parenting show that they've tricked kids into watching. I, yeah, that's, yeah. that's the trick. That's what they've done. They've made so, a show that parents want to watch about parenting, and then the kids are kind of just there to see the cartoon puppies. I just, and, I've, I've met so many people who are just, they have no kids, and they're like, you have to watch Bluey. I'm like, what? It, well, like, I'll, I'll tell you what I think about you, that you as well, but maybe it. another day. Yeah, um, you should watch but, it. I'll, I'll let you know. Well, I'll just say if you're a uh, if you're someone without kids, I think you're I think you're watching Bluey for a different reason than the others. I'll, I'll leave it there. We'll talk about that another day. But culture, I want to get you to weigh in on this because you have been following the streaming situation for so so long. Disney likely to fall out of the top five. It's never going to be presented that way in the mainstream. The drive bys are not going to do this because they will say, well, YouTube is not really a streaming service. It doesn't have subscribers in the same way, even though it does. They'll say, well, you know, uh, Amazon Prime Video really doesn't count. They'll do whatever it takes to keep Disney up there because Disney is the battleground for the culture war. But what say you, Culture Casino, as he takes a sip, folks, ready for his response? What do you say <laughs> about Disney Plus dropping? Oh, I, look, it doesn't surprise me at all. They have very little to offer on their streaming service. I mean, Marvin, you know, spoke eloquently about, you know, not only uh, uh, the Murdochs fleecing uh, Bob Iger, but um, the fact that, you know, there's just there's not much there to watch. Go look through it. I mean, I think somebody posted the just yet just yesterday that Echo happened to be one of their most popular streaming shows. How's uh, that right even behind, possible? Right behind Percy Jackson. And, you know, what a what a wake Percy Jackson left behind it in the culture space, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, these insignificant moments that they try to celebrate are, you know, exactly the telling part of the story. The fact that, you know, they have zero cultural impact now when it comes to whatever they offer on the streaming service. Why? Well, because they, they've they diminished their own material by putting those silly, you know, uh, you know, trigger warnings and other things on there just because they don't like a particular way that things were done back when these were, well, uh, you know, made. Not to mention the fact that they are tearing down the classics, which will leave them very little to work with in the future if they have to keep uh, surviving on remakes and reboots, etc. But when it comes to the streaming service, Tubi's going to be... Tubi will be past them next quarter, if if that long. And well, they're... they're 
Go ahead. It's already, it's already more profitable than Disney Plus. Oh well, that's not that hard. In fact, uh, my, my, <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> there's a good argument to be made that Max is more profitable than Disney is right now. So I need, I need to point out that this this tweet right here that we're we're looking at, obviously it's Nielsen data, but this comes from a Twitter account called at Now It's Known. Mac yes, is an Mac. incredible resource. Culture, yes. you and I are going to talk about this more on that Park Place Live. Yeah, I'm, I'm blessed to have you on the. On oh, the I'll channel. be there. I'll be there. I I actually am in the back room over there right now, already ready, already. Awesome, already, awesome. Ready, already. Uh, so so no, that's right. If you look, broadcast and cable grew. Uh, both of them. Well, let's see. Uh, together, collectively grew over the last month. And, yes, and, and also there's something else that we're definitely going to be talking about. Comcast just announced Brian Roberts went to a telecom conference. Yes, he uh, did. Moffitt, Nathan, and he said that Peacock, <laughs> if Disney is going to be bundling with Max and with Hulu, uh, that'll represent about five to six percent of the market. Mm -hmm. uh, Peacock is going to be bundling with Netflix. So mm -hmm. already right there, that's that's closer to eight. 8.6, 8.7, almost 9%. Yeah, yeah. And the other member of that bundle, which is much more interesting to me, represents a smaller portion of the market, but a much more important person in the technology, a corporation in the technology sector. That's Apple Plus, yep. Apple TV Plus. Mm. So so if we're if we're talking about cable and who's going to be offering cable, if if iPhones, I'm sorry, if Apple decides that they're going to advertise to everyone, here is the Peacock, Netflix, and Apple TV Plus bundle. I, I, I think while Disney is going towards cable, Apple could eat their lunch pretty quick if they wanted to be the not-so-silent, humongous partner there in this space. So I, I think Disney has a long road to hoe here. Well, look at what you're talking about then, right? I mean, these bundles are structured in a way for a reason. So Apple Plus is your premium tier stuff it's your it's your hbo top end you know high concept kind of thing your middle level would be netflix right everything in the middle all like a smorgasbord of goodness and then your discount would be peacock you know so you, you've got these three levels of content uh disney tried to do the same thing obviously bar, bar bundling with max so that they can get the hbo content directly but that's that's kind of what i'm seeing these the, the, these these systems try to do to to aggregate these things together my concept was always that somebody else from the outside or maybe a couple of parties would become the aggregator of all these channels but i it didn't turn out that way it turned out like these cable guys or the you know these communication guys are trying to put all this together and i think it's wise i think once again who do you think smarter, Iger? No, or, uh, well, not, not based on the pattern here. Yeah, or Mr. Roberts. Who do you think's more based smart? on the pattern? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I will tell you guys on my workbench right now, a Bob Iger puppet is being uh, constructed <laughs> for the launch of a new movie TV channel. He's going to be like my big oh, like arch beautiful. nemesis on the channel. Can <laughs> so, you can anyway. you make sure that puppet has uh, pockets turned inside out to uh, really drive home will. the point? Thank you. Maybe. Thank I'm going to call it Bob Liger. Maybe, maybe put him in a <laughs> maybe put him in a shower robe. Uh, hey, well, yeah, yeah. If you want to make costumes for him, shower robes, good one. And also, you should get him one of those race, uh, racing suits for like the what the race race car drivers wear, and just put a bunch of patches of corporations all over it. Oh, yeah. Every time he comes on the screen, I'm gonna have a little theme song that's gonna go, "Who's the leader of the world's most evil company?" Bob Iger, Nelson Peltz, Bob Iger, Nelson Peltz. So it's all coming. <laughs> Excellent. Folks, we've come to the end. It is yet again a joy, an utter joy, to have you here with us, to share time with us. And all we ask, folks, is if only, by the way, only if you enjoyed this, click the like button. Share, subscribe, click it, stick it to the algorithms. It is the notification bell. Drop a comment down below. And by the way, share this out on your favorite social media platforms. Folks, as we say at the end of every one of these, keep learning, keep growing, and keep having fun.